Hey guys, it's been a while. I know I've been very uh, negligent in posting any videos. I uh, haven't been riding the bike a whole lot. Eh, situation normal. Uh, it's hard to kind of leave the house. The dog goes nuts. Uh, but I have been tinkering around with my woodworking projects. Um, if you can see over there, I finally got my tool wall up and I started building some little shelves and hanger thingies. Uh, another little project that I've been working on over here is uh, something with my son. Uh, he wanted some uh, stands for speakers. And amazingly enough, they came out level. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of proud of them. Uh, he came over one weekend and we put a lot of it together. I've done some of the work myself. Basically his design with a little bit of my input. And uh, again, my, my tool wall over here, I got my, whoops, sorry about that, dropping the camera. Got my French cleat system set up. And uh, yeah, I mean, if I do say so myself for uh, somebody who's really never worked in wood very much, I, I think I got things pretty, pretty straight and squared up. What I like about these is you can take them off and you can see the little cleat system there. I glued and brad nailed it to get the cleat on the back of my little tray here. And on this one, I put a little edge. Uh, for this one, I, I was hoping to uh, use it for my chargers, so I didn't put an edge on it because the chargers are a little, a little bit uh, larger than the space that that would allow. I, don't know, I gotta figure something out though. Maybe make another shelf with something a little bit a little bit wider. These pieces were left over from where I built the wall. Uh, anyway, yeah, some little two by fours with pegs stuck in them, some dowels. Any hoozle. Um, yeah, been working on stuff. And uh, oops, sorry for the up the nose shot. Been working on stuff, and, and one other thing I, I kind of realized that I, I needed, and th this is the funny thing, seems like uh, the things I need to buy or build are based on the fact that I'm trying to do the woodworking stuff. So <laughs> if I didn't, if I wasn't doing the woodworking stuff, I probably wouldn't need the tool wall, and I probably wouldn't need what I'm about to show you here. Um, this my next project um, about to put the wheels on it this is the base of it what I'm trying to do is follow this project plan here and that's what I'm trying to build a little storage cart for plywood and my offcuts um, I did deviate from this woodworking plan a little bit it uses a 2x4 and a 2x6 and what I did is I actually used uh, a 2x4 on each side and a 2x6 on each side so that I have, uh, I'm going to have a lip on the front and the back and if I ever get this thing finished I'll show you. But uh, again, uh, I think I'm doing pretty good. I got everything squared up, everything's even and once I, uh, once I figure out where I want to place my wheels, this is, this is one area I didn't think through very well. The wheels are supposed to go here but I don't know, that seems like it's going to make it a little bit tilty if I put them in there. Because it's a little bit towards the center. And I'll probably be alright, because I got all this uh, additional weight from the, uh, the additional structure here. Oh, the other thing I deviated too is uh, this thing uses uh, two 2x4 two pieces here and here, and then just one here and here in the, towards the uh, the the center section and I put three in the center section so that I have one dead in the middle as well uh, again this thing you can probably drive a car on it by the time I'm done with it anywho uh, that's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm up to and again sorry for the up the nose shot uh, bought myself a few little additional tools got me a little Grizzly planer, little six inch uh, under that 
mess over there is a, a little grizzly planer. And I think you've seen my Makita saw before. Anyway, yeah, it's just, uh, oh, the, the other thing I got, and again, every, I keep everything covered up to kind of keep it clean. But uh, got me a grizzly bandsaw and a cross cut, I mean a, uh, oh, what the hell do you call it? Uh, it's called a little ripper. It's a little ripping jig. You can uh, take big boards and make small boards out of them. All right. So I figure this, I don't know if I'll post this video. It's probably going to be a mess, but who knows? Maybe I will. Yeah, I probably will. Just so I have something to post. Anyway, guys, happy holidays. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I want to get to work on my cart here. Uh, it's Christmas Day uh, 2018. Take care, folks. See you soon, I hope. Bye.